I'm from Iowa, Des Moines, but originally I came from Sudan. The reason why we came here to get a better life, better education, and better living. With some reason, I, my doctor diagnosed me with the chronic leukemia, and I don't understand the first time leukemia, what that mean. But when I asked doctor what that leukemia mean, and he told me it's a cancer with a simple answer. And he told me if you don't get a treatment within two years, you're gonna die. Uh, with that answer, I understand I'm in a dangerous position. When I went to my doctor for treatment, he told me the white cell uh, blood was 600,000. For the normal person, it's 14,000. And he told me I have to use the medication. And this disease started with me in 2009. It make my, uh, my body itching, and it make my hair gray, and uh, it make me start to look blurry, which is coming to blind, and my right ear start to lose hearing. I can't hear with the, my right ear. Every time I went to bathroom, I don't see anything, just blood. My stomach start to swelling, and uh, every time I go to bed, my bed is become wet. Uh, and every time I sleep at night, I have short breath. Uh, it means that the disease has already controlled my life. When I came here, I uh, attend the medical course. The first time I couldn't make it to come in the prayer line. And the second time also I couldn't make it to come front in the prayer line. But the third time, during my sitting in the back, and I've been had something in my mind, in my heart, tell me this is your day. And I've been sitting while I've been praying with the wise men hurry during the mass prayer. I feel something come to my head and control all my body. And I began to nervous. And uh, then my whole body began to sweat. And uh, I see kind of like uh, I'm getting dizzy. And I'm trying to sit down, I couldn't sit down. Something told me, stand up and uh, just raise your hand. And I've been praying with the wise man, Harry. And then with some reason, I fall down and uh, I began to vomiting out. I feel something separate from my body. And I feel light. I got my body is kind of like light, something I don't understand. What happened? I don't, know, I don't feel, uh, before bed, I feel something like separate my body and I feel light. From that day on, my life completely changed. No more uh, short breath, my body no more swelling, and I don't have no more itching. When I go bathroom, no more blooding, and uh, my eyes start to become, again, I can see very well, and my right ear start to come back again, I can hear. And then I see a lot of grace start to come back to my life. Before I come to the Courset with the wise man, Harry, I went back to the doctor to ask for permission because he told me, you are under the treatment, you can't leave the area. When I went back to my doctor and they draw the blood out in myself and they find out the white cell count, blood was completely fine. And the doctor asked me, what happened? I told him, well, I told you before I go there, I'm gonna go and come back with a miracle. And the doctor feels shocked, and he told me, you are really a miracle boy. And now I can prove it to you, since 2009, when I get diagnosed with the leukemia, up to now, is six year, 2016, or uh, almost seven year. I have no more leukemia in my blood. I have no more urine blooding, and I can see very well. I can hear very well. I can speak. My my body come back, and I'm well. I'm doing fine. I have nothing to do with the leukemia. I'm really free. My name is Nabil Komi, and this is my testimony.